Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a little challenge. I am going to use my most hated medium, oil pastels. And if that's not enough, I found these old Jackson oil pastels that I used back in elementary school. These oil pastels are very popular here in Germany and you can get them in basically any art store. However, I wasn't able to find any prompting reviews of professional artists trying them, so it's gonna be interesting. So let's unbox them. They were horribly unsorted, but overall they still looked pretty fine and I expected them to be worse, to be honest. However, before I could start, I had to organize them. And yeah, that's how they look. Pretty vibrant, with a nice range of colors, I think. I also found these metallic and neon Jackson oil pastels, but I'm not going to use them on the drawing I'm going to do, because I didn't want to overdo it, but I thought I would share them with you anyways, because they still are very pretty to look at. That's how they look all together. Then the first issue I encountered was the question of what paper to use. Since I mainly use watercolors, I have, well, mainly watercolor paper. And as little as I know about oil pastels, I think I remember they require a hard surface with gentle texture so they can grip onto it, which isn't exactly given with watercolor paper, but I also might be totally wrong. So I already prepared a portrait sketch of my OC Veronica. And let me just use this moment to talk to you a little bit before I ramble about the drawing and the process. If you follow me on my other social media, you probably know that I took a radical break from basically any platform except YouTube for the past two months now due to health, life stuff and my final exams. And good news is that I finished my last written exam yesterday at the point of recording this audio. Because in all honesty, the footage was taken back in February. I just never had the time to edit everything due to my classes, which no longer is an active thing now. And I am just so thrilled to spend my time doing art and making videos about it and sharing it and just to be creative. I also might want to make a video about my Instagram detox in relation to my why you don't want to go viral as an artist video because I think it's worth sharing. But anyways, back to the drawing. So here we are talking about the artwork. As you can see, I already finished a good chunk of the face. And with oil pastels, you kind of work with the color blocking technique similar to gouache, but I think it's already visible that these oil pastels just would not layer. They were streaky and smearing and it was just messy. Obviously, this might be due to my lack of control and knowledge over the medium, but some of the basic techniques work with pretty much all mediums, but yeah. I struggled a lot with applying the pastels alone, which probably is due to my paper choice, but they were also super dry, which is also probably because they're so old, but even blending from dark to light, especially in the face, was such a mess. The only colors that blended nicely were the oranges and yellows, which is why I'm happy I picked Veronica for this, but Oh boy, they more so smeared each other than actually blended. And I tried blending with my finger, with a cotton swab, a blender, you name it. 
I also had to constantly brush over my drawing to get rid of the flakes so they wouldn't accidentally smear my progress and oh good lord, I missed creating details. Like, I was aware that me and oil pastels won't be a great match to be creating details, but with these ones I was just happy to get an even color block in. Like, seriously, I don't know whether or not the struggles were due to the medium, the specific brand, their condition or just my innocent thinking that if I am skilled with oil paints, then I will also be skilled with oil pastels. To be fair, a lot of oil artists also claim that oil pastels are just oil paints in stick form and that they are quite the same to use. Um, that's not the case for me, <laughs> but they still just need a whole different treatment than watercolors, my main medium, which I hope lets me receive a pass for this mess I created. Please let this be a pass for the mess I created. Even though I question my sanity and artistic skill during the process, I didn't lose hope. <laughs> I also wanted to try this graffito technique, so I colored the background in blue to match with Veronica's eyes and did some crisscross hatching. So it's been a week and my oil pastel drawings, paintings um, are pretty much hardened now. This is the final result. Um, I don't know <laughs> whether or not I like it. Of course, for my first um, real Mm, oil pastel drawing it's it's quite okay nothing all too crazy but you know <laughs> i i tried to um do a portrait of my character veronica and <laughs> um i think she looks quite goofy if you if you think i have like a comparison piece you know this is like the art i usually make and I mean, I am aware that you cannot really achieve the same details with oil pastels than you do with ink and watercolor. So um, I thought that maybe doing a portrait isn't exactly the thing you should start with with oil pastels. Um, so I also did a little drawing of some oranges. This one, I like this one quite better. I also tried another paper that is already toned. My final thoughts, do I like them? I, I think the, the, the Jackson oil pastels, they're kind of dry. I think they're more suitable for children. They are fun to use. For me, um, I think it's an okay result. I had semi fun. <laughs> It was, it was very frustrating but also quite relaxing to try oil pastels but they are far from, from the quality that I usually produce because obviously it's also a medium I don't really know or like using. I think it was a fun experience and it's definitely worth um, doing again because you know I also did another painting so will I 
start using oil pastel? Probably not, um, in all honesty. Watercolors are still my favorite medium. I think I will donate those, and especially the metallic and neon colors, because, you know, if I donate them, like, to an elementary school or something else, children love metallic colors, they love neon colors. I think um, in an elementary school or some kindergarten, they are better used, because I don't really think they have even student quality. I mean, they're vibrant, but, you know, I also don't really know a lot about oil pastels, but as far as I know, they should be able to layer better, even though this might be my problem. It was a fun experiment, and yeah, it, 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 was, it was a fun experiment. I'm quite happy with the artwork. What do you think? <laughs> Three months later, I have to admit that I actually really love the final result, even though it's not my usual style. It's definitely something different, but maybe that's why I find it appealing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had some fun. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and stay hydrated.